Okay, I wanted to address a video that I did yesterday. I've watched it several times, actually. Kind of bothered by it. Kind of bothered by my actions. Kind of bothered by my manners. My, you know what? I know I upset some folks when I talk about the historical society, and I get upset when I talk about the historical society. However, they do have some great members. They we that place needs our help. They need membership. It's $20 a year. It does. However, we need a change of leadership. We need a change of attitude. Uh, the possibilities of what can be down there is unfathomable. Uh, going to start a movement called if not why not okay if we don't have why not get it let's get it okay if if we don't have it let's get it there's money available but first we need members we need we need, we need volunteers they need volunteers i'm not going to volunteer until we have a change of leadership period uh and others feel the same way. Uh, one of the most prominent historians in the city of Enterprise will not be a member or be an active member. Let me rephrase that. Dale Marsh, because of certain individuals at the Historical Society. Now, besides the negative, let's talk positives. Let's talk what can be. We, we we can get and digitally archive, right? We can get a computer server system, get our stuff archived so it's searchable, accessible to anybody and everybody so that they can, they can, we can add our collections to yours. Right? I've talked to Dr. Dr. Tracy Kaiser. I've talked to Stephanie Underwood, both teachers at the high school, both history professors at the high school. You know, I've talked to Liz Donaldson. She she asked me the, the other day. She's like, Dion, she goes, I get asked all the time by my, my, my kids asking my mother. Well, they recorded on their phones, right? Those digital interviews could be stored at the Historical Society on a server their stories, right? Dr. Faye Grimmer, back in 86, recorded, went around and did a lot of recorded interviews. Uh, Rhonda Grimmer's got some DVDs of those interviews. Uh, she's promised me copies of them, but I haven't got them yet, but I haven't pressed her on it either. Uh, you know, we could take this... Take the, we, this is what needs to be done and what's possible. I know for a fact, I don't know it, I haven't spoken to Melissa specifically about this particular subject, but I'm aware that Melissa Parker is not willing to sell, just up and randomly sell, Nancy Parker building. However, could it be purchased for a historical significance and be used for historical? Absolutely. I know this to be fact. So, why not let's purchase the, the, the as a society, purchase the Yancey Parker building, right? Now, take that building and create it the Yancey Parker Historical City Hall Annex, right? You house all of our library upstairs, right? You take the Main Street Enterprise lady that you just hired. You move her into there, downstairs. You take the tourism office out of the basement of the city hall. You move her in there, right? Now our archives are up above. The city gets to use it. The city cuts us a break by not charging us electricity 
are not paying for the electricity. We right now we as a society pay an electric bill at the at the depot. We pay an electric bill at the Main Street office. Why? Do we have an electric bill? As much as we do for the city, did the city not pay that bill? As much as we've provided the city for their celebration, they do, do we not? I mean, agreed, the city gives them a certain amount of money every year. That happens. didn't get re restarted until like 2015. Prior to that, it didn't happen. Except for during celebration times. Uh... Now, since 2015, the city has given them money. I do give them that. Not been a lot. Not been enough to cover their expenses. Uh, not, not, not to include the gifts that they buy. I'm not talking about those expenses. I'm talking about just overhead. What could be? Right? What could be? Let's talk what could be. You take the stuff out of the depot museum, you, and, and you house it, it, it as a storage area temporarily in Yancey Parker Building till you get it all categorized. You purchase it, you get it all. Okay, the depot. Let's get that train depot to be a train depot. I've talked to the gentleman that runs the the hobby shop here in town, the local train guys. You know, build a build a model replica of the city of Enterprise, right? Like the Foley Museum, right? House it in the depot. Keep the keep the the family stuff, the the log the, the logging stuff. Some of that needs to be moved out, but we right now we currently have no location to put it, so it can remain in there. The fire truck needs to be moved to the fire department. It belongs to the fire department. Set it outside, not set it up. I really wouldn't set it outside. But it, you're in the old Nichols building. Moving inside in the display area where the displays, cars used to be displayed. See if we can get back to your, the one that set up 167 for the longest time. See if we can trace it, trace it and get it back as a city, as a historical society. As a city of, as a people of enterprise. Get that, get our history back. You know we're spending we spent we're spending seventeen thousand dollars for Main Street Enterprise. First off, I was originally originally opposed to it, but however, after watching this young lady that they've hired, you know what? I'm impressed with that young lady. I'm impressed. You know what the Main Street Enterprise is going to be bringing to the table is I'm impressed. They've they've changed my mind. Really. I was opposed, and they've changed my mind. And I'm a hard mind to change. Once I make my opinion on something, I'm hard, unless you can convince me. And you know what? They've convinced me. Of what they bring to the table. You know, let's let's get our sidewalks down through our historic districts. Let's get our, let's get our historic districts documented. Our historic homes documented. Embrace our history like Savannah, Georgia. I mean, I know many of us... Think of the tourism that it would bring if we embraced our history. Do, we, do you think that we had embraced that we had a 19th... We had a baseball player from Enterprise now that played with the New York Yankees. The founder... The founder of Aflac grew up across the street, or his grandparents were. I'm not exactly sure of the story, but across the street from College Street, City School, as it was known then. We have educator. We have we have what was co the old Coffee County High School grounds. It's now a vacant lot. Let's turn that into an educator park. Move the little red schoolhouse from where it's at. Cause it, the location is. It, it was put in a bad location to begin with. 
Let's move it from there. Put it on the old 100 years, those grounds. Or the... People were taught. Let's, 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 let's... So many of our teachers have affected so many of our lives. Let's honor those teachers. You know, we could get a helicopter donated to put down there. Create a park for families. An attraction for tourism. <clears throat> I'm going to smoke a cigarette while I do this. I'm recording this. It's not going live, so... Trying to remain calm. Look, people. We all love our, our history. We do. I do. Look, I'm not, I, my family's not bumped from here. I know that. You know, my parents came here in 1961. My father was, was an instructor. First, he came down here as a mechanic. But he was such a damn good mechanic... He not only became a mecha- he was not only was a mechanic, he became a lead mechanic. Then he became a in- mechanic instructor. Then he became the lead instructor on the Black Hawk program. He wrote the course on the Black. He wrote the maintenance course on the Black Hawk program. Most of it is still in use. Look. The possibilities are endless. I even created a video a long time ago. It's called, I Can Only Imagine. If we would embrace our history, all of it, the good and the bad, and the ugly, because we've got some of that too, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we have some of that too. And here's what I'm going to start doing. Because I am fixing to reopen creative expressions, I'm not allowed to shoot inside yet because I can't, I don't have a city business license to operate inside yet. So, I'll set my camera up outside. I beg you, beg you, come down, let me interview you. Record it. I'll save it. So once we do get the this, this historical society to where they can house these things, what room does that... We can buy a website with unlimited. We don't know. We need a computer. We need a computer. I challenge anybody to ask, and I'm and I'm, I'm going to throw him under the bus on this one. Sorry, Ben. Going to throw you under the bus on this one. I challenge each and every one of you to go ask Ben P- Patterson at Navigator International to look at his computer room, to look at his computer server room. Okay. That's what we need at the Historical Society. Something similar. To house, to archive our stuff so we can properly store it but yet have it accessible to the public. You know, I've talked to Stephanie and, 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 and like I said, I talked to Dr. Tracy Kaiser. You know, of getting their kids to record their grandparents if they're still alive. We've all got cell phones. You know, Stephanie the other day was talking about, like, well, I, you know what? I'm fixed to teach U.S. history. I'm going to do that as a project for next year. We should have been doing that. To Caroline Qualabom and the Southeast Sun. Yo, we should be getting their collection, and they've got their entire collection since they've been published in 1982 at their office. We need to get that digitized. And accessible to the public. Maybe not the current year. Because you know what? There's still a, there's, there's still a paid newspaper. And also support the Southeast Sun. Support the Enterprise. Now, I'm not going to say support the Enterprise. Literature, because they no longer live it. They no longer Their office is no longer in Enterprise. So support the Southeast Sun over the Enterprise Ledger. For what all Caroline and and Russell do for this community. I wish they would go to a daily paper, but I understand the financials of it. But, 
you know, let's get our microfish that we have down at the Historical Society digitized. I have the capability. I haven't done it. First off, they denied me access to it once I became available. I became able to do it. Or let me rephrase that. I didn't, it didn't become denied it. Well, let me rephrase it. One time I did become not denied it, but it's since become, I'm unwelcome. I'll just say that. So, it's not been done. It needs to be done. It should be done. And put and get out there so people can, so we can all enjoy it. There should be a bank of computers, at least three, that customers or visitors can come in to, with access to Ancestry.com so they can research their ancestry there. But guess what? If it clips it, we get to save it. You know, they get to save it too, but we get to, it saves it in our database. as related to enterprise. Right? Same way with newspaper.com. Newspaper.com costs us $79 every six months. I guarantee you, as a non-profit foundation, if you actually contacted newspapers.com, I guarantee you that'd cut us a break if we bought it by the 10 years. Six years, five years, a year. To Main Street Enterprise, the city of Enterprise, you know what? We could we could take and take our sidewalks, extend our sidewalks through our historic districts. Right? I can only imagine. I can only imagine. <sighs> Why we have no public transportation, I don't understand either. Why the city of Enterprise don't have a historical commission like the city of Dothan does, made up of our business leaders, our historians. All right? Our, our, our investors. Or you know, the, you know the key. The, the big thing is money. Money's the issue, and money's the issue right now, currently at the historical society. It is. They their membership, their their money comes from. They get a little bit of money from the city now. Fifteen hundred dollars, I think, is what it got last year. Twenty two hundred dollars. Not. Now don't get me wrong. That does not include. Uh, what they've given them since the for the centennial and all the out of the out of the uh, out of the tourism budget for the centennial, none of that money is included. So, I'm not including any of that money. But prior to that, for 2015, 16, 17, as far as I'm aware, it was like fifteen hundred dollars, maybe a little bit more, maybe as far as up as twenty two hundred dollars. But still, their electric bill is a couple hundred dollars a month. And how they pay their bills is by selling of Alabama clay. It's not even from Alabama, or not even from Enterprise. It's Coosa clay. I mean, I agree. It's our biggest. It's our as a society. It's our biggest seller. But we have Enterprise alumni that have stuff that they sell that we could sell in there. And I'm I'm pretty sure. They would give us a small commission off of it. Pretty sure. You could get the nursing home to, we could get the nursing home to make stuff to sell in there let, and give the money back to them. And it'll give back to our community. You know, the, 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 the retirement home out behind the, the nursing home. Let those people make stuff. They do. Let them sell it there with us at the society. Their possibilities are endless. Speaking of back, back to Tracy and 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 Stephanie. The J. Florida, and I challenge you, if you never remember here. Go check out the J. Florida Historical Society, please. Go check them out. Look what they do. 
you know, we should be we should be having monthly meetings like they do, recording them. Coffee County Arts Alliance, join, help us there. Get we'll get speakers in. They tried to do it with Miss Tommy, but she got sick during the centennial. Why ain't we doing them every month? We should be doing them every month. And if we had the the leadership at the society, we could have that. Vic Campbell just discontinued a program down, or not discontinued, they got better stuff, so they gave away, and I tried to get it, but he had already given it away, a bunch of cameras, a bunch of video cameras, that they, that, the J Floor, that, they, that Santa Rosa County had gotten to pay for uh, stuff for the schools to record their, like we were doing, like I want to do here, love to do here, and I've talked to Tracy and Stephanie about it. But because of cell phones, we don't have to have the cameras that they do, which is why they're getting rid of theirs. Because now we have cell phones that will do the same thing. Do an oral history project. Let's document our history. Let's keep them. Hold them. You know what? You may not, We may not care about stuff now. Right? But a hundred years from now, somebody will. Two hundred years from now, somebody will. Really? <sighs> Prime example of the ineptness of our historical society and some of the people down there. Right now, there is a copy of a interview from Dr. Sawyer from Enterprise, of Dr. E. L. Gibson from Enterprise, in the UAB Medical Library in Birmingham, UAB. An audio recording. There is a transcript, a two-page transcript. I, I don't know how many pages it is. I think it's only two pages, but it, I, all I know is it's a transcript of that recording. I would have got to imagine it's got to be more than two pages. I tried to get the society to get a copy of it. The, last, the, the, the historical society librarian, who was a, the head of the library at the junior college at one time. I actually worked for her at one time at the junior college in the library. Her exact words to me were, We've got enough on E.L. Gibson. We don't need that. Ain't got room for it. How much room does an audio file take up? Seriously? Really? And you care about our history. Let's assemble as much of our history, as much of our photographs, there's a, there, I don't remember who posted it, but he posted some videos from the 1954 uh, Bowieville Day when the monument was rededicated after it had been stolen. The original bug. We've got, we now have video footage of it. I've now actually got the, the film, or not the film, but I've got because I'm tech savvy, I know how to save that video off of where he posted it on our group. So I now have the copy of that video. I'd love to have the original film to actually scan it frame by frame by frame. And then re-put it back together. Fix what can be fixed and put it back together. Right? Preserve it. Keep it. Let him keep the original, but we've got a copy of it. This is what I'm fixing to do. I'm fixing to be able to sit outside my building 
You bring your photograph down to me. We'll sit. We will sit outside. While you're sitting there, go through your photo albums and we'll scan them in. I'll give you a disc of your photographs. I'm going to charge by the hour. But some of those photographs, we're going to donate some. We'll donate to the Historical Society. We'll donate them all if you'd like. If you'd like. However, what you don't want us to donate, we won't. However, we're going to ask you for some of them. Because I guarantee you there's going to be some that we won't. I would think. And if we had a server, uh, look, I build websites. Right now I have unlimited space on my personal website. I'm creating a Celebrate Enterprise page where I'm fixing to put everything. Everything that I've got, everything that I can get my hands on is going on a Celebrate Enterprise website where everything will be downloadable, accessible, searchable until such time My, I'm a, the Celebrate Enterprise page I'm going to keep. But until I, you know, and it transfer that same information to the Historical Society. It don't belong to me. It belongs to the people of Enterprise. It belongs to all of us. That's why I run my Celebrate. Celebrate Enterprise is my page. Mine. But I treat it as ours. Because it belongs to us. All of us. I'm the admin. I run it. I delete stuff that don't belong. But that group belongs to all of us. All of us. Not just me. I love this city. I love my home. I love my hometown. And all this started because I wanted to create a scrapbook for my niece and help my mother with dementia. But it's turned into so much more than since then. My spirit's been crushed multiple occasions. I've almost given up. I almost walked away. But there's nothing more that I love than this city and our history. All I want to do is save it. Preserve it for future generations. I mean, I know I'm like a bull in a china shop. I understand that. I do. I've dealt with it my entire life. I have. My entire life I've dealt with being a bull in a china shop. I'm abrasive and I know I am. I try not to be. I'm passionate about our city. I'm passionate about our history. I'm especially passionate about our photographs. Being a photographer, what they show us, they are moments in time. Think about that now. They're a single moment in time. They convey so much. They convey com emotion. The emotional response that they give is uniquely us. Please grab out your scrapbooks. Right? Share share photographs. You never know 
where a photograph may lead. Conversations it may lead. Anyway, uh, it's, I don't know what time in the morning, 3.30 in the morning, so I'm going to go to bed. I just wanted to record this and I'll post it in the morning. Actually, I'm going to post it now, so good night.